Now, today marks a significant milestone for African Export Import Bank, that's Africsim Bank, with the inauguration of its Fund for Export Development in Africa, FEDA office in Kigali, Rwanda. Now, this initiative represents a vital step towards bridging the $100 billion equity capital gap confronting the continent, a challenge exacerbated by the recent withdrawal of high-value non-native funds. Africsim Bank's proactive strategy under scored by the establishment of FEDA, emphasizing a profound commitment to spurring industrial growth, bolstering intra-African trade, and advancing value-added export development across the continent. The new FEDA office in Kigali is envisaged as a beacon of progress, driving equity and private credit capital investments, boosting industrialization, and fostering intra-African trade. Uh, so, of course, we do see in the images President of Africsim Bank, Benedict Orama, with the Prime Minister of uh, Rwanda uh, during the ribbon cutting of uh, this FEDA uh, HQ in Kigali. I mean, another great development, uh, right step in the right direction, and as it implies, you know, uh, fund for export development, which is key to what Africsim pretty much does across the African continent, pretty much to aid trade which is very low as we speak across the African continent, because when you look at the numbers inter African trade, it's quite at an all-time low. Uh, most African countries, you know, prefer to trade with European countries rather than their fellow countries of the African continent. So we hope that FEDA will be able to open up, you know, this avenue for this inter African trade and be able to bolster trade on the African continent. And it's also, you know, part of the objective of these multilateral institutions across Africa, like Africsim Bank and the other multilateral institution as regards showing of the development potential, I mean, the African Bank has done a lot as regards taking Africa one step further. Really recently in an interview on this platform, you see that uh, the president of uh, African Bank was talking about a healthcare center, a lot, you know, done in the healthcare sector and other sectors across board in the African country. I think there's a very big hospital that will be built, that will be a hub for healthcare development. So we're excited that this is going out there in Rwanda. You know, some people would have thought that, oh, this should also be uh, big things like this should also come to, to Nigeria. But uh, uh, it's, it's, it's all for development. And this fund for export development will go a long way in, in, in uh, you know, making that agenda 2065 of collective development of the African continent uh, more realistic. So congratulations, Africa in Bank. Well, Fund for Export Development uh, in Africa, FEDA, is the impact investment arm of the African Exim Bank. And, you know, it's been headquartered in Kigali uh, before now, uh, but now they have a new office, a brand new office, which again is an expression of the commitment of the uh, African Bank uh, to promoting investment Part of the objective is to promote foreign direct investment, to promote industrialization, and to use FEDA to achieve the objectives of uh, the African Bank uh, under the auspices of facilitation of trade in Africa, and particularly the African uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement, the AFC-FTA. Uh, so now in a you know, building of their own, uh, this will facilitate the operations. In 2022, uh, FEDA launched uh, what they call four, tra uh, four strategies, over a $670 uh, million uh, portfolio, focusing on how to promote equity, debt equity, and venture capital, and how to facilitate collaboration between public and private sector. So it's another milestone, you know, in the efforts of, uh, you know, uh, of the African uh, import exim bank, Africism uh, uh, bank. And the fact that uh, Rwanda has been chosen as a location, it can speaks to the increasing attention being paid to uh, Rwanda. You may say, well, the president of Rwanda is a benevolent dictator and all that, but Rwanda is on the map because leadership is provided. And, uh, you know, it's, not, it's good to see that it's not just the British, Rishi Sunak, talking about uh, exporting, you know, uh, asylum seekers to Rwanda. But it's important to also see that Ru Rwanda, you know, has become a destination point for the development process, for catalyzing the development process in Africa. So congratulations to Professor Benedict Orama, one of those diamonds, great ambassadors that Nigeria has donated to the rest of uh, Africa. So uh, you should congratulate us 
you know, uh, uh, that you know, Nigeria continues to provide leadership at all levels in, uh, in Africa. And congratulations, of course, to the bank itself, as it is known. You know, I'm a lover of Pan-Africanism and anything that entails our integration, closer integration as African countries and African economies. And, and this is one such development, Rwanda befitting host, uh, because Rwanda was one of the first countries to actually accede, the first country to accede to FEDA. Uh, so befitting host. And uh, Kigali, the, the Rwandese government has been doing everything possible to position Kigali as a financial hub, specifically for, finance, for African uh, venture capitalists and investment. Uh, so th this is going to be a great development for them as well. Um, and of course, we're still waiting to see the rollout of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, very much still a document on paper. So we hope that this type of support is going to give the necessary investment to development of African markets so that we can work closer towards making African free trade, the United States of Africa, African economic integration a reality sooner rather than later.